Today we are talking about focus peaking. That's a lie, we're not talking about that. Today we're talking about false color. All right, people, I'm Garrett. This is no longer making movies. It's gonna be hard getting used to that. Today, we are doing something very short, very quick. We're talking about false color. What it is, how to use it, why it exists. Believe it or not, these three monitors are not broken. They are on a setting called false color. False color, much like waveforms and histograms, are a way that we can check exposure on our image. They all work a little differently. Histograms give you kind of an overall little mountain showing you general exposure of your image. Waveforms, whether it's singular, vector scope, or parade, can see different RGB values across a horizontal plane, but false color gives you exposure readouts of your image exactly. Exposure in false color is generally measured in IRE, another unit of measurement for exposure going from 0 to 100, sometimes into the negatives and up to 110, but 0 to 100 being fairly standard if you're familiar with waveforms or histograms works very similarly. Zero is clipped out black, 100 is clipped out white, and then everything in the middle is somewhere in between. The benefit with false color is that it gives you a visual representation of each of those percentages represented by each color. So you know exactly what is in what form of exposure. Now, as filmmakers, we generally want to expose for skin tones. Higher end cameras have wider dynamic range, meaning that we can get more things exposed properly. But if you're working with cameras with limited dynamic range or you're not shooting in raw, making sure that you have your exposure set to the skin tone of the face of the subject in your shot is of paramount importance. And the key on each of the monitors lets us know what color represents what. So in this case, you will see uh, on the key for my SWIT monitor, it goes from deep purple, which would be something that's completely under exposed all the way to bright red, which would be something that is totally overexposed. The same is true for the key over here on the Atomos, which goes vertically, deep purple, totally underexposed, bright red, totally overexposed. And then the feel world works the same way, but for some reason the key is shown backwards. So the purple's over here and the, the red is over here, but they all work the same way. Now, some monitors give you the option to customize the color values of your IRE. So you can then know which colors you are looking for, but for most monitors, it's going to look something like this. The sweet spot where we want to set our exposure is somewhere between the 60 to 75 IRE range, which is going to be kind of in that neutral 50 or just above that neutral 50, uh, measured here by being pink, gray, and green. So again, you can see here in the middle, I have green, I have gray, and I have pink. In the middle of this key here, same thing, green, gray, pink, and the same here green, gray, and pink. And if you look at the image of where I am in the frame and kind of the wall around me, it is living in that green, gray, and pink, which means that we have really, really good exposure. Now, if we go under exposure, like if I turn off all light, you can see that my color values start to change. So on this monitor, you see this blue that's coming in and in the top corner, that purple is starting to creep in. And here in my shirt, you can see that there's blue creeping in and same with the shirt on that monitor. Monitor, that blue means that I'm super underexposed, but not totally, totally clipped out. All right, now that I'm completely underexposed by turning off all of the lights, you can see that these monitors are registering all that deep dark blue and or that deep dark purple meaning that there's no color information, which we know to be true because just look at me. False color is such a valuable exposure tool because we don't have to guess based on our camera that we're using or guess based on the waveform or histogram exactly what our exposure is. And when you're shooting outside, it's really easy to see flat imagery like this and understand whether or not we are absolutely nailing our exposure. Every cinema monitor is a little different with how you turn on or turn off your false color. So for this SWIT monitor, I have different screen set up. So if I just move it over, it's going to then take it back to a normal image. With the Atomos, I go into my monitor assist and I can turn it on or off here. And with my feel world, I can swipe up from the bottom and turn it on or off like that. It's super easy to turn on, it's super easy to turn off, and it makes getting your exposure and nailing that so much easier than many of the other exposure tools that are available to us. But if you don't know what you're looking at, 
can get kind of intimidating. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did do me a favor, give this video a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.